Colt DM901. It's a short barrel, full automatic version. We have a civilian model coming out with a 16 inch barrel and semi, mid to weight year. Sporting some new features. We have full ambidextrous controls. You have bolt release, magazine release, selector lever for the right handed shooter, and for the left handed shooter, we have all the same controls on that side. Everything is geared around to work off the trigger finger and thumb of the strong hand. It's built off a monolithic upper receiver with a fully free-floated barrel. Any mil-spec upper receiver assembly made since the beginning of the M16 AR-15 family will retrofit onto this. So you can have one lower receiver that will fire 762 NATO all the way down to a 556. 68, 762 by 39, gas piston, gas This one lower will handle them all. It just have like a drop in sleeve for the magwell? Our warriors are still in the process of protecting us and how we did it. Once the protections are in place, then we're going to open it up for everybody to see how we did it. This system is sporting some new finishes. This Vista camouflage pattern, we have a digital desert pattern. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like the fact that you can switch it to any. As well as a, uh, just a desert brown. They are in the anodized. They are not a dip applied over the anodized. The, the pe camouflage pattern is infused right into the hard coat. Thank you. So the uh, biggest, biggest announcement this year is the Colt 901. Uh, the CM901 would be the military version of that. Uh, kind of something like you see here. This is a 13 and a half inch barrel version, 308. Uh, ambidextrous controls. You've got a bolt release on the right hand side here, and you've got a mag release here on the left hand side. Uh, the uh, the uh, probably coolest thing about this is it's actually adaptable to 5.56. So this is the same low receiver with a standard AR-15 type upper on it. This happens to be a 6940 type upper. Uh, and obviously there's a uh, adapter block in there, but you can actually put your AR-15 type upper onto this low receiver and shoot 5.56 and retain all those ambidextrous controls. Also, the finish on these guns, you'll notice, this is actually a hard coat anodized camouflage finish. It's not a paint, it's not, a, uh, it's not anything that was applied after the, uh, after the anodized. It's actually, uh, it's actually colored right into the anodized. Is all that going to be a factory option, the different anodizing? Yeah. We're not, we're, we're obviously we're not going to have, you know, seven, di seven different available camouflage patterns, but when we get it narrowed down to a couple. Cool. But at least flat dark earth is definitely going to be an option, something like this. Yeah, probably. Coyote. Yeah, okay. Probably, I mean, you could probably count on black, flat dark earth, some kind of digital camo, and sometime, some kind of uh, uh, like a hunting camouflage for the, uh, for the uh, commercial variant. This happens to be a Vista uh, pattern. That's pretty cool. How you doing? I'm well. Magpul. Magpul mag. What do you need to do to go from three away to five? One upper off the other one on. God bless you. That's a good one. And uh, it works with the Xbox. It works with the in and direct out. Handles well. I'm going to shoot a left hand in there. Okay. And four, one piece monolithic, free floated barrel. And on the off side, you got a magazine release. Everything, everything on this weapon is designed to work with the trigger. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.